Hi everyone and welcome to today's beehive craft. So pictured here is the honeybee, but there's actually over 20,000 different species of bees. Today we'll be making a craft that will most benefit a species called the mason bee, which actually nest in pre-made holes. Starting off with materials, you're going to need one can. You're going to wash and delabel this can. Then next you're going to have some string, a hammer, a nail or a screw, whatever you have lying around, also some paint, and glue, scissors, also opener, paintbrush, a bottle cap, a stack of paper that you're about to recycle. These are some of my notes from school. So first you're gonna take off the top of the can or the bottom of the can. If you did, then you're going to have an adult do this part and hammer two holes on the top. Um, that way you can hang it up later. So it should be a tiny hole just like that. You're gonna take your string, you're gonna cut a decent length and poke the string through the tiny hole that you made and tie about one or two knots. That way it stays secure when you do hang it up. Here's the first one. And then I'm just gonna tie one more knot. and not secure. The next thing you're gonna do is paint your can how you want it. Um, I'm painting mine like a bumblebee using the black and yellow paint. I just painted the body yellow and then just painted two um, black stripes down the middle. A little sneak peek are some of the bottle caps that we're gonna glue on the side. Those are gonna be water dishes. So then the next part of this craft is you're going to take your stock of recycled paper and take one sheet and cut it in half. Um, you're going to want to cut it your half in half again. And then this is what we're going to use um, to roll up tubes to stuff the inside of the can. So once you get about that size of piece of paper, you're going to check to see it's about the same length as the can and then you're going to start rolling it up into kind of like a thin small tube and you just roll it up as tightly as you can um it doesn't have to be perfect as you can see i have glue and paint all over my fingers so precision wasn't really what i was going for then you're going to take your glue and just glue a small thin line across the bottom and then kind of doing a rolling pin method just kind of roll it up and kind of the glue will just kind of stick together on all the sides um, making a tube just like this and then you're going to stuff it in your can and see if it's too long or too short it should be a little maybe a little too long like mine was and then take the scissors and just kind of cut the ends all right next part is that you're gonna take um, some glue and kind of glue the inside of your can this will just help the t tubes kind of be more secure on the inside you don't have to do this step because um, stuffing the tubes on the inside will kind of um, they'll kind of stay together on their own but I thought gluing a little bit will just help it in the long run and so you're just gonna layer your tubes just like this um, just I don't know exactly how many you do need to roll but I think you probably around 15 to 20 is my guess is how many I did um, and you're just gonna stack and stack until you have uh, the final product of it filling to the top 
next is that you're going to take those bottle caps and as you can see, I already have two stuck on, but we're gonna have two on each side, kind of creating two bumblebee wings. So take your hot glue, put a little dot on the side of your bottle cap, and stick it right onto your can. Kind of aiming for the middle of your can, that way it is even on both sides, but it, like I said, doesn't have to be perfect. And you're gonna do the same on the other side, creating a total of four bottle caps on your can and here's the final product you can hang this anywhere outside and hopefully creating a home for some bees so yeah check out our facebook page at bronco urban gardens for all things bug related and thank you for watching